Welcome back to the channel. Just for some clarity, I am in the process of getting ready to travel and as a result, I won't be on hand to make content. So I'm currently working about 12 to 13 days in advance. Airbus though has published its orders and deliveries for the month of August and overall output did significantly drop during the month. Airbus shipped off 47 aircraft. This is actually down from the 77 it delivered to customers in July, therefore representing quite the drop. Thus far in 2024, Airbus has delivered 447 aircraft to customers right around the world, aiming to reach a target of 770 units by year's end. This target of 770, however, is actually a reduction of 30 units from the plane maker's initial estimation or forecasting of 800 deliveries that it outlined last year. It was only a couple of months ago that it refined this overall target. The reduction in in expectations follows persistent supply chain difficulties, which are making it very hard for Airbus to perform as it would ideally like to. And they're really not alone in feeling this. At least this is how they may seek a little bit of comfort. The thing is, supply chain issues don't just come from, say, an inability to acquire key fuselage parts to build the aircraft. It's also from the standpoint of seats for the cabin interior, the fundamental manpower to complete jobs, engines, and almost every other element and before you know it, an aircraft manufacturer such as Airbus is having to deal with so many different companies that are all feeling the same pressure. And while one thing may arrive on time, seven other parts won't, meaning that the overall component can't progress with a time frame as intended. One of though the highlights for the month came from a private customer who committed to six aircraft ranging from narrow to wide body jets. As part of this order, Airbus said it secured purchases for three of your A350-900 and three A320 Neos. Certainly a vote of confidence in the popular aircraft types in their relative field. Unfortunately, however, the end destination for these aircraft were not to be revealed, as the deal is officially listed as from an undisclosed customer to really keep the identity of the aircraft order safe for the moment. No doubt as time will eventually progress, we should find out the end destination, of course, if the orders do go through for that matter. Away from a private customer order, Airbus also confirmed that it had added an order from Cathay Pacific to its order book across the month. This order from the Hong Kong-based carrier followed significant studies and dialogue as the airline sought a new mid-sized widebody to support fleet renewal and growth ambitions. The A330neo was the jet selected, with the company committing to 30 units as part of its future flying targets. This will boost the A330neo program as well, which has struggled for orders in the past, this being a key topic of conversation in the last few years. But 2024 has really been the opposite. The year has been a resounding success for the A330neo with several high-profile orders that have allowed the wide body's backlog to continue progressing in a positive trajectory. 2024 on a whole has seen net orders for your commercial aircraft division at 413, the gross amount 400 and 32 units, so therefore we're factoring in around about 20 cancellations. That'll conclude today's update on Airbus. Make sure you are staying tuned. And I do just want to apologize if your long-form aviation news recaps aren't coming every single day. As I stated at the beginning of this video, I will be traveling soon, so I'm doing my very best to have something go out at least every single day. And if that has to be a quicker four-minute video, then that's what I'm at least aiming to put out. Thanks for your patience, thanks for your support, and I'll see you tomorrow.